We're rolling. Whether one is trying to find a good form of organization for some objects, for a series of images, or for their life, it's always an admirable pursuit. Take, for instance, Swedish botanist Carlos Linnaeus, the Spanish bluebell, and the African marigold. On first glance, these flowers look entirely different from one another. On closer inspection, however, Linnaeus found that they actually have the same tissue type. Two things that on first glance seem totally dissimilar suddenly united in a way. A beautiful accomplishment. Cut. The Flatiron Building on Wellington Street. The City Hall on Queen Street. The Inglis Plant on Liberty Street. The Don Valley Brickworks on Bayview Avenue. All examples of architecture with personality and character, but completely different buildings. Or are they? I thought then, perhaps as a nod to Linnaeus and his work, that it might be an interesting challenge to, with close investigation, try to find some convincing similarities between apparently dissimilar buildings. So behind me is the abandoned Symes transfer station, a really interesting building. We're just about ready to try to make our way in there. Hopefully there won't be any problems. Let's go. As we explored Symes, we realized, judging from its condition, that it just wouldn't be practical to shoot in there to any significant extent. In the end, we chose Kerr Hall and Eric Palin Hall, both Ryerson University buildings, but, aside from that, seemingly totally different from one another. It would be great to find that the buildings actually have the exact same amount of hallway doors altogether or on a certain level. A long shot, obviously, but I decided anyway to make it my first objective to find out. So, not even close on any count. I moved on to a new idea. What if, I thought, each building has the same predominant color? I began to list all of the colors found within each building. Thank you. 
dominant colors turned out to be as follows. I turned to my next idea. The dimensions in each building seemed relatively similar to me. From wall to wall in Kerr Hall, I measured 12 feet. From wall to wall in Palin Hall, 10 feet. From floor to ceiling in Kerr Hall, I measured 18 feet. From floor to ceiling in Palin Hall, 15 feet. Close, but not quite. I saw this as not a total failure considering how close I came and, with some motivation, moved on to my next idea, to look at the types of things. During this documentation, I also noticed that altogether there are six hallways, 18 light switches, 12 bulletin boards, 10 intercoms, 9 fire alarms, 9 fire hoses, 15 vents, 6 exit signs, 8 garbage bins, 14 water fountains, 7 hand sanitizers, and 4 payphones on Kerr Hall's third floor. The results for Palin Hall's third floor provided no matches. Becoming increasingly discouraged with my inability to find a convincing similarity between the buildings, I began to look through the bulletin boards. One board on the first level of Eric Palin Hall caught my eye. It held an ad about music equipment, three tags removed. I thought I had seen the exact same ad on the first floor of Kerr Hall as well. Sure enough, there it was. The same ad on the same floor, but with only two tags removed. If I removed one tag, I think I'd be creating an interesting similarity of sorts between the buildings but maybe it isn't fair to involve myself in the process. I left it alone and continued searching. Something drew me back to the stairwell area and I got the idea that perhaps the building's main stairwells have the same number of steps. I began to find out. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 37, 38, 39, 40, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And once again, close but not quite. Nearly at the point of defeat now, I decided to look back through a bunch of photographs I had taken during my research. Perhaps, I thought, I could count the number of tiles in the building's floors. Realizing how long this would take and the unlikelihood of a match, I decided against it. Looking at a photo of the Kerr Hall main stairwell again, I noticed something. I had counted the steps, but neglected the rungs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight. Yes, finally, I found a convincing similarity between the two buildings. Both buildings have the exact same number of stairwell seven, rungs eight, in their main nine, stairwell. Four, Let's just double check to make sure. 78, 79, 80. Oh no, I must have miscounted the first time. I guess my imagination was just trying to take over. I had pretty much given up at that point. There was, however, that ad. I can now say that both buildings contain the same ad on the same floor and also both happen to have three tags removed from them at the same time. It won't last long probably, but I think that's just about as close as I can get in terms of accomplishing my original goal. So in my attempt to find a convincing parallel between these buildings, I've pretty much failed. Maybe I should have just let my imagination take over. <laughs>